Well, hello there once again, motorsport fans, and welcome back. Now, I've had a couple of messages the past fortnight on uh, premix and basically how much oil should we mix into a certain amount of fuel. So I'm going to run through that now. Um, it's good to know how to do this, and it's good to be able to make up these ratios on the run. So um, you don't have to think too much about it. You can just do it, okay? So firstly, your KTM 50 Mini, okay, is oil injected. You don't have to worry about this at all. So you've got an oil bottle on the side uh, of the head stem, and that'll inject into the motor itself, okay? Now, a 50SX, the senior, the ratio is 60 to 1, okay? Now, I'm going to show you that in the manual now. Now, here we've got the mixture ratio. This is page 120, okay? Mixture ratio of 1 to 60, or 1 part oil to 60 litres of fuel, and we're running 95 octane, KDM's calling for, okay? So, here we got 60 to 1, and we're running 95 octane, okay? So... 60 to 1, 60 parts fuel to 1 part oil, which is now 60 litres of fuel to 1 litre of oil. So if you had 60 litres of fuel, you'd put a full 1 litre bottle of oil in it and you'd be done. But we're not going to do that because we're not going to mix up 60 litres of fuel, okay? So today, we're going to pretend we've got a 5 litre fuel can, okay? So we're going to divide 60, which comes from the ratio here, the 60 here, okay? So we're going to go 60, and we're going to divide it by 5, and that's the amount of litres in our jerry can, Okay? That's going to bring us to number 12, okay? Now, we've got one litre, because we've got the one here, and we're going to convert that to 1,000 mil. So one litre is 1,000 mil. We're going to use that for the calculation. And we're going to divide it by 12, this figure here, okay? So we're going to go 1,000 and divide that by 12, okay? That's 83.33 mil, okay? 3.3 mil, okay? So we're going to make, round that up and make that 84 mil. 84 mil for 5 litres at 60 to 1. Now, let's say you want to go to 50 to 1. Okay? What we'll do is instead of dividing 5, the amount of fuel, into 60, we're going to divide it into 50. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. Okay? And then we're going to go 1,000. Okay? Here. And by 10. 100. So that's 100 mil for 5 litres. Okay, so if you were to have a 10 litre jerry can, you'd change this figure here to say a 10, all right? Now, a couple of things quickly. The first thing is, you wanna get yourself one of these. This is from Bunnings. It's a Monarch. It doesn't even cost $2, I don't think. And it's got really accurate measurements on it. So you've got 50 mil, 55, 60. So you can get these measurements absolutely spot on, all right? Now, when you're at the service station too, use the digital spa on the Bowser. Use it to your advantage. Instead of filling up, say, a 10 litre jerry can and just filling it to the top and saying, okay, that's 10 litres, use the digital display and wait till it gets to exactly 10 litres and stop. And that, that way you know you've got the uh, exact, exact amount of fuel you're going to be dealing with, okay? The last thing is the changing. If, if you were to change this to 50, you're going to create more oil in the fuel. By doing that, you're creating a leaner condition for the bike because it's actually less fuel. So if you've got a, if you've got a cup full of fuel... You're actually going to have more oil in there, which means less fuel, if that makes sense. So by adding more oil, if you're adding a leaner condition, okay? I would never go above 60 to 1. Um, I was surprised when I got, got into these bikes. They do run 60 to 1. I've always had two strokes that run 32, 40 to 1 if you want to stretch it out. But these things running 60 to 1 is a, a very low amount of oil in the fuel. But that's how they run. That's how KDM's designed. And um, yeah, that's how they should be, should be run. All right, guys, I hope that clears things up for you. See you on the next one. All the best.